everyone welcome back to figure fantasy so today we're going over lubu's build and strategy let's start off with his skills i think lubu is one of the most underrated figures that i have you know i have ever seen um there's a lot to this guy in terms of um, what he can do so Without further ado, let's start with his basic attacks. So attacks an enemy from the f from the first enemy in the in the same line. So his attack is attack speed is fast. His upgrade effect from level one grants a thirty percent chance of dealing extra damage. This will be adjusted by Lubu's accuracy bonus. So make sure that you have at least sub stats that give him accuracy bonus. So level three also has a chance to restore five energy. So that is what this is what I like about him. He does a he does a lot of uh, fast attacks, high damage, and also he pushes himself to do a lot more often his ultimate attack. So let's take a look at his ultimate Ether Halberd. Initial energy is twenty. Attacks the target and its surrounding enemies. Energy regen rate is at six uh, per second. Upgrade effect of this ultimate is boost all damage by 20%. Also boosts attack speed by 10% for 5 seconds for each enemy hit. So stacking up to 3 times. Okay, so what this does is when you hit a single unit, the surrounding adjacent also get hit. So for each enemy hit, um, the stack piles up. So it's going to be up to 3 here. So 10% times 3 is 30%, but at level 3, you're going to go up at uh, 60%. So the same, the rest are the same, 20, 20. Only the stack difference is uh, going to be the difference from level 2 to 3. So attack speed definitely going to be maximized for this guy for his basic attack. And um, every time an ally initiates the ultimate, deals damage to all enemies. This is also one of the things that I think he really is sometimes missed does a lot of aoe damage um not only for his basic but also for his ultimate and also for his passive which is tiger's valor upgrade effect restores five energy when the effect is triggered and at level three also triggers when figurine anishas the ultimate restores five energy for itself and the attacker so this he also functions as an energy battery in a ways so again, very underrated figure. Um, I do hope you guys try to um, use him in the future. Then for his uh, special skill, Mighty General, boost damage by 15% when there is no surrounding enemies. Um, this is usually the usual um, default for all militarists. Upgrade effect, level 2 boost basic attack power by 10% and attack by 5. And at level 3, boost damage by 25% when there is no surrounding enemies. So again a very fast paced attacker which has a good complement of ultimate which gives you know which supports his basic attack and also does aoe and you know everything this um, if you haven't understood what lubu does i hope now you know what he can do okay so as far as his uh, strengths and weaknesses are concerned so of course uh he has attack he, his attack should be at s um his health is already good at a but his health is really is his weakness he doesn't have self-regen he relies on other healers to give him health so as much as possible please do put um extra extra health to this guy so let's go to his gear Okay, so far for the recommended gear, so far th these are it. So my recommendation is still attack speed. Give him more attack speed um, over attack. Um, at first, my first build with Lubu was built on attack. So attack is also a four-piece attack set, but I replaced it with attack speed. And also, you will have to put him on this one. So we have to... Put basic attack power plus 18. This is going to be your skill set. And take note, guys, substats ideally would be if you if you enhance a specific gear or yeah, if you enhance a specific gear, ideally 
uh, you should get accuracy or HP for these. So if you don't want to use um, the skill set, you might want to opt for an HP set for him. Just uh, remember, I suggested that you increase his HP. But again, I'm going all out with damage for this guy. Um, definitely, he has a lot of firepower um, within his kit alone. So for his badge, this is the only badge that um, is recommended for him. Azure realm so it restores health equal to 188 percent so this is the only way you can gain hp attack uh, restores health equal to 188 percent attack and boost attack speed again by 10 percent for 28 seconds after unleashing the ultimate so this is the only way again that he can regain health for himself he usually relies on healers to do that for him the other um options that you can get that you if you don't have that set is also this one um this one has a purple variation so accuracy bonus for him and also this one boost all damage by five percent so those i think are the best if you don't have um eternal phantom badge then definitely you go with these other badges Okay, guys, so definitely for his team comp, he will be better off with Galatea. Galatea needs a real, a really a little more love in terms of additional figures. Uh, but, but what I will say with Lubu is he can be, you know, he can be brought with any team. He's very versatile. He doesn't need a specific synergy with uh, Galatea itself. But just in case, if you want synergy, um, this is going to be your synergy. So you're going to be bringing Zhao Yun. Definitely, these two are going to be your your damage dealers for um, Galatea. So they're, they're, they're your one and two punch. That is why they're here for me. Definitely, you should bring Erixia to the team. And also, you should bring this guy, Zhao Yun. Okay, your complement would be Zhu Liang for that team that i just mentioned okay so as far as uh, uh content goes uh ideally he is going to be excelling here in code v and also excelling here as well in azazel but i'm going to show you guys a match for the big three also the big three does need him he deals a lot of damage um, really, really good in terms of um, compensating for the lack of defense for this team. So let's uh, do 28th floor of Galatea for the big three. Okay, so far this is the lineup that I did. Um, ideally, for this lineup, you should place Lubu here because this is a special zone. So increases basic attack power and attack speed by 35% until it leaves the zone. And also, Zhao, you should attack towards here the reason why i put these guys on the side because these two need to go these two <laughs> these two me megain girl have to go while you're attacking this boss um so far i think this team is performing well especially that you have zun liang here and you have uh Eriksha in this team and also this guy up here will be providing you with your heal. So let's check this out and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the first time that I brought a team for Galatea, which I don't have Yuki at this point. I don't want to bring her because at this point, as you're going up, you uh, she's, she's becoming a liability because she can't be leveled up beyond 160. So, so far, um, so good for this lineup. I'm actually surviving with the help of Erixia, with the help of uh, Zhao Yun up there for the healer. So far, I'm done with the first uh, girl down below. So, we only have one left. That is why they're there because their, their, their task is to take that girl out with basic attack. So far, life or HP is holding up. Hopefully, I'm not speaking too soon. Um, so far, so good. So far, so good. I am at times two. 
Hopefully, we can clear this round with everybody intact. So, down to times one or, yeah, X1. Then, we're down to four. And nearing the end for this boss. So, so far, so good. A good run for this team. Lubu actually helped a lot in terms of the damage there. Again, both Zhao Yu and Lubu will be your heavy DPS for Galatea. So anyway, guys, that is my um, guide for Lubu. Hopefully, you you know you you took you were able to take something away from this guide. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.